Hi there, this is Christy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a new font into your Canva account. So, first of all, I'm going to show you where I buy mine. I have a monthly subscription to Creative Fabrica, and I'll put my affiliate link below in this video. I also pay a monthly subscription to Canva.com but I used the free version for a long time and you can too. Okay, so first of all, I was in my project right here because I'm making um, hand art craft pages for my Etsy shop. And I wanted something that was um, handwritten and a little bit different than what I'm finding in Canvas fonts. So what you can do is go into Creative Fabrica and you can just simply choose font up here and what I do is I go down and I filter them on the left by print on demand licenses and then what I want to do is go and find one or more that I just can't live without hand lettering it's cute this is really cute floral monogram fonts leopard alphabet doodle fonts and you could really get lost in here I'm telling you, you could spend hours in here um, and I found that some of them that have the title or that have the name font in their title aren't necessarily fonts or PNGs so you'll find that out once you download it. But it doesn't matter if you have the monthly subscription. You can have unlimited downloads. I mean, it's a no-brainer for me. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking. Let's see. I'm going to go back up here and filter it a little bit by child font. Let's see what we can find under child font. There's Retro Child, that's really cute. Chalkboard. This doesn't say font. Let's see if this is a font. Childlike font. Okay, I like that one. So I'm going to download that one. And then you'll see a zip file on the bottom of your computer. And so you want to open up that zip file. Shows you all the different letters that's included here, all fonts. Okay, so by the pool. TTF. Okay, so then I'm going to go back here inside of my project. I'm going to go to the brand hub. I'm going to go down to fonts, add your brand fonts. I'm going to go to add new, upload a font, add new, and then I'm going to look for that TTF by the pool. There it is, right there. Please confirm the following by uploading my own custom font. I acknowledge that I own by the pool or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. And of course, we'll choose the second one. We're going to upload it. Now, there it is. So when I go into my project and I go to text and I want to add a little subheading then I'm going to go here and I'm going to scroll down add your brand fonts recently used I actually like that finger paint one that I've already got in there but this one was by the pool
by the pull font. Canva has some built-in ones, but from time to time you might want to venture out. These are the ones I've uploaded right here. There it is right there. Okay. All right. So there we go. And then I can just double click in here in the box. And then I can put like from your niece. Boom. There we go. And that's how you upload a custom font. Again, um, I use Creative Fabrica for all my fonts except for the ones built into Canva and I also use um, Creative Fabrica for all my graphics so you want to find um, you know watercolor bees look how cute this is look how cute look at that and then what I do is just so um, you know I want to have all the licenses I, I usually click print on demand and it whittles it down to this which really gives you so so many choices look at all those cute little bees bees and honey seamless patterns yeah I could stay in here all day and think about all the hundreds of things you could create with these graphics. I mean, printables, cards, notebooks, t-shirts, I've done a little bit of it all. Okay. So there you go. And I'll put down my affiliate link for Creative Fabrica and for Canva. And I just thought it would be cool to show you again just to review where to go so you're working inside of canva in your project you would go to your brand hub you would go add your brand fonts add new upload a font add new and then find it usually um it's under fft OTF or TTF. Those are the two formats you'll see it in. OTF or TTF. There we go. These are the, all the ones I've downloaded. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.